Okay, let's hold the festivities. Over there. You have performed enough heroic deeds for one lifetime, Oliver. One one <coughs> one takes it takes it you take one takes it you will now be returning to your own world. Leave everyone behind and return home to Motorville. Very well. Then a magnificent farewell feast will be prepared. Kind of lagged in the soundtrack there. So farewell. Yes. Thanks for everything, Your Majesty. So it's the end of our double act, is it? So I'll take more and start with me. You made one heck of a sidekick, Ollie boy. When you get home, you look out for Myrtle, won't you? Hey, come back and visit you here. We'll go somewhere dangerous, for old times' sake. <laughs> you got it. Thank you, everybody. Be good, Oliver. Uh, but not too good. See you next time our world's in a potch. Take care, all of you. Potchity, potchity, potch. Thank you. Farewell, Oliver. An end to huh? pain. Huh? What's that? Whoa! What did you do, Ollie boy? Nothing, I promise. Pitiful fools. My gift of mana will cleanse your tainted souls. This stuff. What? What is it? Snow. Looks like ash. But it isn't cold. <gasps> What the fuck? Burning them. Zombies! Uh, fish? Zombies? What is this? What the heck? Give me out, just Yikes. Marcusan! You must come with me! That's one hell of a festivity farewell party. <laughs> and we pretend that we're dead. Uh, and we pretend that we're dead. Well, I sensed correctly. <laughs> Oliver, Oliver, who's there? It's me, P. Oliver, it's falling. The ash is falling again. I have to go back there. Huh, P? What do you mean the ash is falling? Wait, I get it. You mean that the mana, huh? That stuff from before, right, P? Are you here now, in this world? Are you here in Ding Dong Dell? P, wait. P, wait for me. Huh? Hey! No. Don't scare me like that. Why are you shouting? Where am I? We're flying? Wait. This is... It is, boy. You're back aboard the most formidable ship ever to sail the skies. The Iron Waven. Yeah, yeah, thanks for telling me. <laughs> Oliver, you're awake. Prince Marcuson, what are you doing here? It's quite a tale. Let me tell you all that has been happening. <laughs> so it wasn't all a dream. Sadly not. The mana, it changed them. It changed everything. That's all right, man. And if it hadn't been for the prince here, we would have, ch we would have been changed into horrible beasties ourselves. Proper close it was. What? So everybody, everybody in Ding Dong Dell is. Aww. By the time I arrived, it was already too late. Most of the people had already been transformed into those things. I was lucky. I was lucky even to be able to get to you and your friends out there. Gee. It's not, and it's not Ding Dong Dell alone. Three king, the three kingdoms have all been affected by the curse of the mana. Ding Dong Dell, Alma Moon, and Halma, 
Hamlin, Hamlin, there. All have been devastated. That's awful. Element, Alma Moon too. Oh no. How could all this happen? After all, we and Mom and Lucian did it to, to all that Lucian did to protect the world. Who the flip is doing this, Mom? And, and why? Well, whoever it is, they're stupidly they're stupidly powerful. That ash wasn't the work of two, uh, some two-bit villain. Ash, of course. P. P knows something. P. Have you seen her? She was in my dream. She said... She said the ash is falling again. And... And you're sure this... Are you sure she meant... Sure she meant the mana? What else could it be? And she said something else, too. I have to go back there. What? Go back where? I don't know. But that's what she told me. Hmm. She visited you in your dreams. This is no coincidence. Let's go see her. Wait here, Your Majesty. We'll go and find P, and we'll ask her what she, or ask her what she meant. Will you now? Then, you must allow me to accompany you. Huh? You want to come with us? Don't you have subjects to be looking after your emperor? This is this is bigger than the empire alone. If there is even a small chance that there, it will help save our world, I must do everything I can. You won't get any special treatment from us, you know. You know that. You know that, don't you? Of course. Fine, as your eminence wills it. Let us show this mana spewing maniac the power of the great sages. Very well. Thank you, brother. All right, let's go to Motorville and find P. I have affairs here. <clears throat> I ha I leave affairs here in your capable hands, Captain Coblay. There are many there are many refugees on board. I pray that you will use your your stout heart to to help them regain their courage and their courage to fight. Aye, I will. Leave them to me, lad. Huh? Why are these two being so chummy? Ain't it though? He pitch. He pitched it his map. He, was he, he pinched his map, didn't he? When they when they did kiss and make up. When did they kiss and make up? Our world is in danger. We must we must put aside put aside our petty squabbles. And the theft of the map, it was my own. It was my own. It was for my own sake. That it was. You needed something to snap you out of your wretchedness. Your wretchedness. You are the, you are an emperor, not a moonstuck goat herd. Uh, is moonstuck goat herd. Hmm. I am better now. Heh. <laughs> Finally learning to stick up for yourself, are you? I had a fine teacher. Now to Motorville. I entrust myself to your command, Oliver. Argerson and his familiar. Always oh, a new pardon, Oliver. I'm gonna switch from Venus in and out of the... <laughs> it's already ready to metamorphose. Level 49. Imperial Scepter. Can I give him... Yeah, but his scepter's better. Interesting. Well, I have been leveling up these familiars. There you go, Moccasin. Huh. Let's see if I can metamorphose him. This is the first stage? No, oh, second. I don't know if I should bother with them. He's already on the second stage. I'm not sure if he'll have really good stats. Unless it counts him as he already went through his first stage. I don't really have a way of knowing that. Okay, oh wait, let's put him in. Esther's in. I need to have Esther in. Oh, no, Swain! 
Hmm. I might fight low levels to boost up those familiars for him. And yeah, I could swap his familiars. Yeah, whatever. Something else going ash, no, I don't choose to go over there. Jump on Tangry? Yeah, yeah. That top boom nature's done. One of the people down below, Oliver. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't I do it? There's no star here, what the hell? Uh, I guess I'll talk to them. Oh, Rashad's alive. I'm not zombified. Key's the key, head back to Motorville. Oh, okay, I wasn't paying attention to anything. I wonder why there's no freaking thing here. P is the key! The rhymes! Mana. The forbidden spell. The death knell for this fallen world. Indeed. It rings out again, as once it did for Nazca. Each time this world ends, one cannot help but recall the name of that forsaken land. The name I recall is Shagar, the one whom we termed Executor. Bringing an end to this world was his duty, a task to which he was palpably unequal. And I will not even speak of his duplicity. To think he shared a soul with the Savior. And that he hid this fact from us. It seems oh, she that went mankind red. has disappointed that your radiance yet again. At the last, the Dark Jinn attempted to save this world. To protect the very creatures that first plunged him into despair. I will not be <laughs> defied. All who defy our will shall perish. The mortal who shared a soul with Shaddaa still draws breath. Should he too choose to defy our will, his reward what shall be death, swift and certain. Am I